So I actually changed the kit to what it's supposed to be this season, but for some reason it's still the same as what it was last season and I hope that this is not the case. I mean the goalkeeper kit changed, it wasn't this color before it was blue and it changed so I'm hoping that they haven't changed the kit because we haven't like been to the first match yet. But anyway what's up guys this is episode 1 of season 2 of my ZM Cohetes career mode and last season we finished in the La Liga in second position that was our first ever season in La Liga and we are able to do that well. This season I'm going to be changing this to ultimate let me just change it so you guys will see that's where the suffering will begin before we advance into the rest of the season i have three players out of the four that i want to get into our team we have ziet pogba and then look i tell you and I, and I think that if i have enough money i might just go for kudus we have 118 million in the bank and that's not going to be enough to sign all those four but let's just see if we can do a couple player swaps sell on clauses and stuff like that the most important out of all of them is locatelli he was in Juventus. i have no idea how sasolo freaking got him i think he was on loan to Juventus though he's gone back so we want to buy him off sasolo and they're asking for 41 but we can do 33 so let's see what we can do in this deal all right say we can go for 33 500 so just because i'm not really comfortable with something that low i'm just going to give them a 10 percent sell-on clause and they want noni maduke and 60 million which i am not going to accept at all i'm just going to get this back up to 35 they want 37 and i think i can just bring this okay let me just stick on 35 right now because i think that i can yeah they're, they're coming down so let me just try one more time to stick to 35 or well, let me just not be wicked and just give them like 500k because i can all right so they're not going lower than 36.1 so i'm just going to accept that really it's just one so it's, it's not even up to a million it's just like 600,000 extra but i'm good with that he's currently getting 42.5 thousand pounds and i'm just going to delegate this and give him 55,000 at the lowest we've got a transfer offer for kalenberg from liverpool and obviously i'm not going to be accepting this because kalenberg is a really important player in our team but Cantelli has accepted for 55,000 on the dot and I guess that's the first player that is entering our team this season he does his fitness test and I think he is good obviously I mean there's no way he's not good <laughs> it was an F stronger negotiation skills could have saved you 11 million that's actually very fucking stupid next player I'm interested in is ZH I'm getting the older players because I mean they're not really that old and they can probably still play at their best for like three to four seasons and it's good I mean they're cheaper even though they're that good and I really have no problem with playing with 30 year olds because to be honest I actually feel like it's better for me at the start of the club so his market value is 30 million and I'm just going to give them 28 I think I can get away with that no risk for or anything and they want to get bash from me I mean that's actually a tempting offer but I don't want to sell any of my players yet I mean he's even injured and if I can actually do this then I'll be able to get Pogba and Kudus so it's really it's really tempting I want depth in my squad to be honest so I think I'm just going to not accept that. They actually accepted a 28 million and a 10% sell-on clause for ZH. He's currently getting 125 and I'm just going to increase this to 150, maybe let's say 200 because I doubt it's going to get up to 200k a month, a week rather. So ZH has accepted for 150,000 pounds a week and that's it. That's the second player to be coming to our team. Funny how all of the three players that are on the main target in this season are all from Juventus. That's fucking weird. Manchester United was to buy Helvig for 87.9 that's a lot of money like I said I don't want to sell anybody from our team just yet we have about 44 million on the doors to sign Pogba and it's looking kind of impossible so if we're not able to get this I guess we're just going to go for Kudus all right his market value is 44.5 and I'm just going to drop 40 and give them a 10 percent sell on clothes. I mean, I doubt I'm ever going to sell any of these players, but I might because I just I just freaking bought ZH. Why the hell are you asking for him? That just means that Pogba is going to be really, really fucking expensive. If they're really bad, we can't get Pogba, and those are the two players that we already got. So we just have to wait for the Kudu scouting report to come in and we will be able to get him into our team. So here's what the first team looks like now. We have German origin and 85 reaching, that's crazy. Fonseca on 85 as well. ZH is going to be the new starting right winger and although we have two other right wingers on the bench, I think I'm going to be playing Maduke both on the left and right and I'm going to be playing Risei strictly on the right in place of ZH. So Batch is going to be coming off the bench for Locatelli or for James. So I mean he has less playing time. He's literally the only one with first team capabilities that's not up to an 80 rating. That's obviously because of his injury but that doesn't matter either way. We win the first match against Wolves. We have Leeds United and Chelsea to play. I think we're going to play this Chelsea match because I want to see how the old Ultimate is going to feel like so Kudu's market value is 23 million and I think I can get him for around 15 with a player swap obviously and I'm going to be swapping um someone that I really don't use 
and Kovacevic looks like a really good option. If I put Kovacevic on and I give them a 10% sell on clothes, let Ajax to suffer with the Kovacevic curse a little bit. And they're actually good with that, which means I could have gotten him for way less. But I mean, there's nothing I, I can really do about it anymore. We've gotten the deal 15 million for Kudus with 9 million for Kovacevic, which makes it up to 24 million in general. And then I'm going to delegate his wages. He's currently getting 15 million, so I think 24 would be a big step up for him. So Kudus has accepted for 28.5 thousand pounds and i would accept it which means he's the latest player that's going to be joining our team so we got three we didn't really get pub but we were able to get the three people that we initially wanted to sign it's a good deal but we got an f we could have saved 7.1 million i mean i probably could have saved 27.1 bad news fonseca got a red card in that match so i'm going to put Maduke up in that position just for the sake of this match i'll bring kudos in i mean this is going to be his first his first match but he's going to be on the bench but let's just put him in the starting 11 for this match because he's new and i want to see how well he will perform i'll bring kallenberg on later i think i might actually just put kallenberg up here in strike in the striker position that might actually be be good all right so the home kit is the same but the away kit and the alternate kit are different so i have no idea why the home kit stayed the same all right ultimate we're playing against chelsea with ultimate difficulty i have no problems with the lineup and let's see what we are able to do in this match we're going to be playing the highlights both attacking and defensive because i want to be able to get a feel of how the attacking is and how the defense is with ultimate but so that was the only team that we didn't beat last season we drew both matches with them but we did defeat real madrid and we defeated atletico madrid as well as villarreal so obviously they'll have way more attacks than us because I mean obviously it's Chelsea and what we have to do is just hold these guys and make sure nothing happens that was that was for good that was for good I can't believe that shit just happened because we got the ball fair and square but for some reason he was just able to get past Helvig again and get a goal so we have a corner here but Donovan is in the match and hopefully he's able to get us but he goes straight to Helvig instead and the keeper gets the ball Chelsea, oh, oh, we have a solo run and it's with Ziyech, so this is a possibility for him to score his first goal for the club and I mean, it's definitely it's definitely going to be a goal, come on, against your former team, even though you were in Juventus where I bought you from, but that's your first goal for the club, that is really good for you and we are drawn with Chelsea in the 24th minute. Next up, we're defending a corner and, well, let's just try and bring our fastest player here and then, okay, we're able to get the ball out, but what the fuck just happened there all right so they are looking like they want to score this one as well but i just want to i'm just going to try my absolute best to make sure that doesn't happen and they just i swear to god the ball is legit glued glued to their feet because what the actual for let's see what we can do there's really no options that i can see right now but is already in the match just come on for locatelli or for whoever he did come on for and no one is making a run i saw i, I saw kallenberg but i saw him little bit late and that was not a very good course. Alright, Chelsea have a solo run here and I just want to try and make sure Sterling doesn't get that pass and yeah, that's pretty good defending from Donovan there to give them a corner. And we have, they have yet another course opportunity. I really don't mind drawing this match to be honest. This match has tendencies to be a very big pain in the ass but we are actually able to hold them and that's really good for us. The boys have done really well defensively and Yet again, they were able to do something really good. And we actually draw the match 1-1. I'm really okay with this result because it's Chelsea we're facing. I mean, it's the first time we're facing them. First time we're facing on an unknown enemy. And Tuchel actually wasn't able to get a win over his former club that unjustfully sacked him. But, I mean, eventually, if we do meet in Champions League or something like that, we definitely will be able to try and get a win in that match. Good work from Ziyech to be able to get his first goal in the club. I really don't know if it's his first goal because we simulated the last two, but this is the first one I'm seeing him score, and I feel like he's going to be scoring a whole lot of goals in this season. So I just want to arrange the team properly now. I think Kudus is going to come in for Alvarez there. And Ziyech and Kallenberg, I think we're actually good here. Yeah, we're actually... We're actually pretty good first match in the la liga is going to be against valencia i'm playing both the attacking and defensive highlights because once again i want to see how i can play with the ultimate difficulty with both attacking and defense and this is going to be the first match hopefully we can actually do really well and get a first win just like we did last season i don't i really don't mind if they clutch finish or not but i just want to be able to get the win valencia wasn't really a top opponent for us last season but i mean they could have bolstered their squad they could have gotten way better and uh, 
I mean, we're wearing our Reiki for the first time and it looks really good as far as I've seen so far. I just want to look at it up close for a bit before I skip to start the match. Oh, and this is not our Reiki, it's rather, it's our alternate kit. It has the black, then it has the team navy blue color like on the shirt in, in a weird pattern and then it has the gold three stripes that actually look like sponsors, which is why I actually like that kit. So, I really don't care about the, the Valencia's formation, but let's see what we can do in this match. Do we get the more attacks? Yes, we do. We get the first one. Well, I, I mean, the best thing to do would just be to whip it into into the box and hope for the best. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I, I think that was too much. Or it wasn't, actually. But we still get the ball, hopefully. And... I know. We still have the ball-ish. And, okay, that is good. Actually, I've given it... Oh, my days. He actually got that. He actually got that. That is a fucking poacher right there. That is absolutely fucking insane. Bro. Okay, and we have a penalty in the 24th minute. I have no idea why German is on this, but I'm just going to switch it to Fonseca because he actually has the better, better everything, to be honest, for a penalty. And I'm going to blast this into the top right corner. The keeper has no freaking chance. That's two goals in the first two attacks, and that is really good. He is doing really, really well this season already. I mean, I wonder how many goals he's going to score. Like in total, he got 24 last season, and I, I'm pretty sure he's going to get way more than that in his second season in La Liga. And we actually look like we have plans to destroy the Mestalla in this match. Let's just calm down and do this well. Let's just calm down and do this properly. Uh, who is there? You can't get there, can you? You can't, but we might still be able to get the ball. We do give it to Kallenberg, who gives it to German, who gets the ball, but he just doesn't not able to get it one time but we're still with the ball here and okay Lozano is on no one is there no one is no one is there we have we have a good opportunity though German can probably get this one time and it gets blocked I mean finally I was able to get it one time we have yet another penalty and I think I just want to let German have this hopefully he can actually hopefully he can actually get a goal I mean his penalty starts are not all that bad but okay, he gets, takes it straight down the middle, a little bit to the left, and that is the third goal in this match. Really good match from the guys today. And we have a really dangerous opportunity here, or, or that they have a really dangerous opportunity here. And we can probably save this, and Vadre actually does save it. And wow, that is actually a really, a really good keeper. They have yet another solo run, but I think we have this one more under control because Helvig is right there, Donovan is right there, and this guy has literally no way. Of scoring this oh my days they actually got the shot on they actually got the shot on and they have one more opportunity they are getting way more opportunities now and I'm actually I'm actually okay with that and I think I might actually play more of this full highlight with defense and attack and we do win the match 3-0 we're able to to quell the the attacks from the opposition and that's a really good start to the season 3-0 at the Mestalla and next match we have is in our home stadium two transfer offers have come through we have the one for Alvarez and the 17.1 million and that's good and then for this one we they still want to give us 5.5 and I think I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that and these two players might leave the club or not. Alright, so Alvarez has been sold. He's leaving the team now. It was a 7.1 million deal. And I have no idea if it was a good deal or not. I, ha I have a feeling that it's going to be an F because, I mean, this game loves to give me Fs all day long. And it's actually, see, uh, we could have made 600k and that's, that's, that's fucking stupid. I know that eventually you're going to be looking for a new defensive midfielder. I have three good... I have three defensive midfielders in the team that are way better than you, man. So it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of hard work. Well, I'm going to say that for Bustos as well. I mean, he's going to be getting at, the, at least a little bit of play time this season. He, he had a sporadic role at that, so I think he should be good with that. And it shouldn't really demoralize him or something. So we have Sevilla to play against here. We're bringing in Rise for ZH. That's basically the only change that we're making in this match. And I'm going to be playing the full match. This is going to be the last match I'm playing for the episode. And let's hope that we can get yet another win in La Liga. All right, we're in the Estadio de Guajetes for the first time this season. We've missed it. We've had one whole month away from our stadium. Or two months, really, to be honest. And we are back here with the same fucking home kit, which is still annoying me that I wasn't able to change this properly. But... I mean, we have, I mean, like seven episodes to go for the end of the season before I'm able to change it. And, uh, well, that sucks, but I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it. Let's see what we can do against Sevilla here. Hopefully, we can actually get a really good win and mistake number one happen there. Mistake number two? No, it's not. 
Alright, so that was a good save from Bandre there. That was the first attack of the match. And I have no idea what defense is doing right now. They can at least try and, and get this done. Please get the pass through. Get the fucking pass through and you don't. What the hell? I mean, Fonteca still really needs to work on his passing, to be honest. Because his passing is absolutely fucking shit right now. Because it always, always takes too much time to get... Oh my god, that was, that was so close. Thank god that that wasn't a... Okay, that was a good interception from Zaracho, but they are still with the ball, it's still really dangerous, and Badre comes up with another really amazing save yet again. And let's just try and hold the ball a little bit and have no idea what to do right now. Okay, so we actually we're actually free on goal. Let's see what we can do here. That's a really good cross, but to no avail though. Oh my god, that is a really huge defensive error. That's a really fucking defensive error, but okay, thankfully that is too wide. Okay, we have a lot to do and of course they score it. How the hell how the hell does he even score at the near post from there? What the fuck was Vandre doing? How do you even let him score from there? You are in the right position, but for some reason he was still able to get that in your near post. That's that's fucked up. That's fucked up. I mean you didn't even die properly, but I mean it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully I mean we're playing ultimate, so I really understand that we won't really get as many wins as possible and I, I really do not want a player like VC to be passing like that at this stage of the fucking series. Good interception and you can probably make a good run for it. And I see German there who well, have wasted too much time trying to get it. But we have a good chance and he was offside in the first place. But that was a really good opportunity. Alright, so they have yet another counter attack here and we should be able to hold this off. And we do not. What the hell? What the fucking what the fuck? What the hell did these guys want from us? What the actual fuck these guys would want from us to be honest because i mean we we could have we could have we could have gotten rid of that but for some reason helvey decided not to close that guy down and i don't know what he was doing in front of the freaking keeper i mean you could have just run there was like so much time for him to at least get a block on that well it's half time nothing we can really do about the results so far we're playing against Sevilla, they're a really good team but i i would like to think that we are a better team and i'm really i'm really fucking pissed off right now that we cannot get at least one attack one good attack Okay, that was a good, good cross from uh, Kallenberg, and we have Rise here. We can, I, can approach, I should have given Fonteca. What the hell was I thinking there? This was just the be best option, and I fucking wasted that. I'm bringing the edge to the mask because I really don't. I really have no idea what Rise is doing there. I mean, we made a really big mistake with him when we could have just given Fonteca to at least give team some morale, but we weren't able to do that. But we can get a good counter going here, and of course Fonteca flunks it with the fucking stupid ass pass. And hopefully these guys don't get three. Hopefully these guys don't get three. Good work from Helvig there. And of course they score. We are being given what we gave uh, this team. And I have no idea what the hell that was. I freaking gave it to German there. I freaking gave it to German. But for some reason these guys are being fucking illiterate right now. I'm making... The worst fucking passes in the world. I mean, passes that don't even make any amount of sense. Or right, that was another good save from Badri there. I mean, they, this match is completely lost. There's really nothing that, really nothing that I want to do in this match anymore. And I, it's, it's, it's fucking annoying. This is exactly why I did not want to play. I did not want to play freaking ultimate because I mean, you just don't get any fucking chances at all. And, and when you do get chances, the, the, the player just fucks it up completely. Good work from Locatelli there. And please, please, someone make the fucking run. Please make the fucking run. I beg you. Thank you. So at least we have a chance for Fonseca here. And yeah, that's that's one goal drawn back. I mean, we could have gotten with Madike, but I just feel like Fonseca has the better opportunity or the better chances of scoring in that one-on-one -on -one situation at a time like this. So good work from Helvig to come all the way from the back. I guess us that golden opportunity and let's see if we are able to push for yet another goal. It's, it's, it's looking impossible, but really nothing is impossible in football. We're just going to have to press as much as we can. Alright, so we have we have another chance for ZH to do something for us here. And uh, it's not looking like you have anything to do, but that is a really good opportunity and it gets fucking flunked by Madiki. Why the hell why the hell are you going to do that? I mean, that was a really good chance for us, but it completely just fucking flunked it. Okay, so we have something of a really good opportunity for Fonseca here. I think it was offside. 
and what the hell what the hell why the hell is he slow down there i mean there's really no points celebrating or anything because i mean the, the match is already lost i mean it's a, it's a little too late i mean they they decided to wake up in the fucking second half at the dying stages of the match and there's really nothing that we can do about that anymore and that's the end of the match there's really nothing we could have done like i said it was a good match for sevilla a good match for us bad match for us but it was a good match at the end but we just weren't able to get all three goals to at least get a draw in this match but i mean it's a wake up call for the guys we're playing ultimate right now so we have to absolutely fucking think we have to think we have to make the best passes i really don't understand why they make so much shit passes in the match because that's what has fucked me up so many times at the back for them to be able to get their goal up next is going to be the match against levante we're going to be seeming this with our first team but look actually is actually kind of low on starting us i'm going to bring batch in for this match and I, I i didn't bring kudos in the last match because that sucks i can't I, I completely forgot that i bought him to be honest so i'm going to be simming this one real quick and let's hope we get the win and we do 3-2 to um fortega gets a breeze and german gets a goal as well so we're finishing this episode at the top spot for real madrid hetafe sevilla and barcelona still have a game at hand i feel like with the fact that we're still playing ultimate this team is still capable of competing for that top four spot matches against the bigger teams in la liga are not going to be quite sure to get a win but we're going to try our best but anyway this is the end of the episode if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know what you think about the signings for this season and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace